Welcome back. We're wrapping up our Super Seniors Week with an important lesson about memory. Here to help us stay sharp is New York Times best-selling author and brain coach, Jim Quick. Hey, Jim. Welcome, Jim. Brain coach, here. I love yeah, it. You. you know, Jim just found, uh, Jim just witnessed us try to remember, remember something, something from yesterday. <laughs> and so this segment is very important yeah, because important. memory yeah. is. Yeah, why is it important to exercise our brains? So our brains control everything, and uh, your your mind is more like a uh, not so much an organ, but it's it acts like a muscle, and it's you use it or lose it. Mm -hmm. But if you put your arm in a sling for a year, it wouldn't grow stronger. It wouldn't even stay the same. It would atrophy. And so we just have to be very careful with our devices and all the tools that we have that we don't just give control and you know we have to strengthen. We don't our remember brain. phone numbers anymore. We don't right. remember how to spell things anymore. Directions. Yeah, yeah. they call that digital dementia. Yeah. Oh where you're so gosh. reliant on your on your mm. keep your to dos, your schedules, all right. the phone numbers, yes. and I don't want to memorize 500 phone numbers, right? right? But we should be concerned that we can't remember one or a pin number or a passcode. Right. Do you know my phone? I know your. I know your. Phone. Phone. Nah. So we know each other's. <laughs> no that's one. good. Yeah. Um, so what are some things we can do to stay sharp? Yeah. So we create an acronym called SHARP. Okay. Yeah, just for this for this uh, conversation, and so the S stands for what you talked about earlier, which is sleep. Mm. I mean, how sharp do you feel when you get a bad night's sleep? Not sharp mm. at all. Right. Dull. You can't focus. Yeah. You don't have the energy. Conversely, though, if I get too much sleep, I right. also don't feel sharp. So yeah. just the right yeah. amount of sleep. The right amount of, of REM and, and, and deep sleep mm -hmm. to restore your body and your brain. Mm -hmm. uh, cold is a wonderful way of doing that. I know it's a little controversial. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're allergic to cold. If you're allergic to cold. You know what you can do? You could take a, a, a warm bath with Epsom salt. That'll help mm -hmm. you sleep uh, or, or a warm shower. When mm -hmm. you come out, your core body temperature drops, and that's a signal for melatonin. Mm -hmm. But sleep is so very important. One of the things you could do also is you have an alarm clock to wake up. Most people do. If you have an alarm clock, go to sleep. Even more important. Because your brain loves to have the rhythm, even on the weekends, ah, consistency. Okay. okay. So the, um, yes, and so the H stands for, in a sharp, stands for harnessing mindfulness. Mm. Mm. And what I mean by that is your brain's not meant to go a million miles an hour all day. You need to create brain breaks, like little pit stops to rejuvenate and recover. Uh, it could be just even 10 minutes of meditation or 10 minutes of gratitude I, or in nature. I do that and it feels like pushing, like putting away all the files on your computer, just yeah. cleaning up the screen and, and pushing restart. It's like, a, it's like a defrag, yeah. no, no doubt. The next tip uh, that when you were going through it, the, the a, uh, what were you at? A, a is always yeah. learning. Always, always learning. learning. And one of the things you have a to-do list, your brain actually grows through uh, challenge. With challenge comes change. And uh, you know, I think reading is one of the most important things you could do. Reading is to your mind what exercise is to your body. How about listening to a book? Yes. It's, Same? Uh, yeah. It's, it's very powerful. For retention and comprehension, reading, reading is more effective. Because okay. often when people are listening, they're doing, they're cleaning the house, they're working out, so they're really multitasking. So that's very important. As, in addition to have a to-do list, have a to-learn list. To okay. Learn right? list. Yes. I love that. And then the okay. R, R is refuel. Specifically with water, your brain is 75 to 80 percent water. Hydrate. Yes. Even at, we just did a podcast episode and talked about a recent study. If you're just two percent dehydrated, it could significantly uh, co compromise your cognitive health, your performance, lead to brain fog, forgetfulness, focus issues. So make sure what you eat and drink matters, especially for your gray matter. Mm. And then finally, the last one, the P, is physical exercise. Yes. Right. And the phrase is: as your body moves, your brain grooves. When yeah. you exercise, you create something called brain-derived neurotropic factors, BDNF, which is like fertilizer for your brain. So at, no matter what your age or stage of life, these are like the fundamentals. Things like, uh, like dance, ballroom dancing, Latin dancing, uh, pickleball. Moving your body is so important to be able to move your brain. All right, this, this is, is great. great. This is great yeah. information. When we come back, we're going to try out a mental exercise for our brains. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stick around. We are back with brain coach Jim Quick. We're going to exercise our brains. What are some exercises we can do for our brains? So one of the things you could do is challenge your brain by maybe learning a, a language. Okay. And so I understand that you're learning Italian. I've been learning Italian. Yeah, yes. So maybe we could uh, show everyone in the audience you could do this with us. Stand okay. up real quick. Okay. Um, we're going to learn how to uh, count in Japanese. Okay. Oh, and you're going to see it and do it, and everyone at home do this also as well. Okay. So repeat after me and okay. do this. Ichi ni. Ichi ni. So ichi is one, ni ichi. is two in Japanese. Ich ni. Three is san, uh, san, like san with an A. So just yes, point san. to san. san. And then four is she. So she. point to a female in the room. She. she. So ichi ni, ni. 
San Chi. That's one through four. Okay. A five is go, so just take a go. few steps. Go. Go. And six is Roku. Imagine you're rowing a Roku. canoe. So Roku. Roku. All right. Can, Ichi, does everyone need San Chi? Let's see. Let's see. Go. Let's see what we got. Ichi. Ichi. Ni. Ichi. San Chi. Go. Roku. Roku. That's one through six. Nice. Oh Amazing. Great job, everyone. Guys, we speak. Japanese. <laughs> Amazing. All right, what are some other exercises? Uh, one of the things you could do to really enhance, there's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory and there's an untrained memory. Okay. Uh, I had a brain injury when I was a child, led to learning difficulties. I also lost my grandmother to Alzheimer's. So this is something I'm very passionate about for okay. the past 30 years. Uh, remembering names. Yeah. I mean, have you ever met somebody? They get their, you get their name, and seconds later, their name gone. just disappears. Gone. Immediately, yeah. Yeah. it's like yeah. it goes into so the abyss. So great mental exercise. There's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory, so we could train it to remember names. So we create an acronym called Be Suave. Very, very quickly. Okay. Next time you're at an event or a wedding, you need to remember names. Just as you're checking yourself in the mirror, say, "I'm going to be suave." The B is believe. Okay. Because if you believe you can or believe you can't, either way, you're right. right? That's so true. Yeah, your brain mm -hmm. is like this incredible supercomputer and your self-talk is a program that will run. So if you tell yourself, I'm not good at remembering names, you won't remember the name of the next person you meet. So mm -hmm. keep it positive. Okay. Uh, even if you say, I don't have great memory, just add a little word like yet to keep the yet. possibilities. Okay. The E is exercise. And I don't mean physical exercise, I mean practice, because practice makes progress. <laughs> right? you know, it just makes progress. Okay. So I'm really good you know, remembering names, but after the first few weeks, once you know how to type or you know how to drive, you know, it's a skill that you have. Got it. Something simple you could do right now is, is an exercise. Everyone shake out your hand. Do this, make a fist, put it to your chin. Now everyone, where's your chin? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so part of the things you want to exercise is your attention. A lot of people, we're not forgetting the name, we're just not hearing the name right. and really listening. Okay. So the S in Be Suave is you say the name. You, you get someone's name. Kelly, it's so, so good to be here, okay. right? Mark, thank you so much for having me. You say it right away to make sure you heard it. The you is you use the name in the conversation. Just three or four times. You don't abuse it, right? <laughs> Kelly and Mark, thank you for having me. Kelly and Mark, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. That would be an abuse, right? Right. But three or four times helps you to retain it. Uh, it helps you to overcome what I call a six-second syndrome. Somebody tells you a name, you have six seconds to do something with it. Right. The, uh, uh -huh. the, the A in uh, Suave is ask. If you ever met somebody, they have a unique name. Ask. You could so ask about their name. Again. Right. Or, yeah. Or ask, so yeah. if it's mm -hmm. Gelman, you could ask, how do you spell that? What does it mean? Who are you named after? You know, what's everyone's favorite subject? Them. Themselves, right. Right? right? So you could ask about a person's name. And V? And then finally, the V is visualize. Some people tend ah, to remember what yes. they see. So try seeing what you want to remember. You could come up with just some fun thing. Like if you meet someone named Kelly and I, maybe I accidentally spill some jelly, something that rhymes okay. with you, right? Or I meet Mark and I put a check mark in, like with a marker on his forehead. So yeah. see and these it. allows you, someone named Mike, imagine them singing karaoke on a microphone. And it sounds very childish, but no, it but helps it you helps to be able to learn. visualize it. Because when you leave saying goodbye, you'll remember what happened. Okay. And then finally, the E in B Suave is end. You always want to end saying goodbye using their name. Because okay. if you could walk into a room and meet 20 strangers and leave saying goodbye to every single one of them, who are they all going to remember? You, you right? And that's the standard that's skill. That's very impressive. Great advice. Uh, all right. Quinn. Yeah. Amazing. Jim's book, Limitless Expanded Edition, is available everywhere books are sold. Thank you, Jim. Coming up next, Melba Wilson. We're going to cook.